Hello, my name is James Butler. I am the project manager for the St. Vrain project. Today I'm going to be talking to you about the unique sustainability features to this project and our design approach. The first thing that's interesting about this project is how we came about our mission statement. And we created this wordle where we asked all of our employees to use words to describe the uh, client experience as they came into the new building. And they came up with these words, welcoming, easy, friendly, clean, comfortable, bright, efficient. And these words became our mission statement. So every design decision that's gone into this building, we've come back to this wordle and asked, are we meeting our mission statement? On this slide, what you are seeing are all of the different services that are provided in the new St. Brain project. And as you can see, right now it is very confusing and decentralized. As we move to our new design approach, we have a one-stop shopping approach where there's one portal coming in for our clients, and then all the services radiate from that central location, much easier for the clients to navigate. What's really exciting about this project is that we're going to be achieving LEED Platinum. This is the highest bar that can be achieved for a green building. And to achieve LEED Platinum, we have to be very energy efficient. We have to have great insulation in our walls and windows. The building needs to be water efficient. And we also need to promote alternative modes of transportation. It's kind of exciting that our building will be the first LEED Platinum building in Longmont, and it's also the first LEED Platinum building that Boulder County will have in our array of, of buildings. Since we're downtown, we will have access to buses, bike paths, and of course, shops and restaurants. Uh, a, one unique aspect to this job, which is um, a first for Boulder County, is that we're going to have an indoor bike storage area for our staff. So we'll have a cart access door to allow staff to secure their bikes indoors. For LEED Platinum, we will be having three different displays within the building that highlight different aspects of it. One of these um, educational display areas is going to be showcasing sustainability, specifically the LEED Platinum features of the building. We'll have another kiosk or information wall that will be talking about alternate transportation modes. And we'll have a third wall that talks about the great recycling program that Boulder County has, which includes single stream recycling and composting. employee parking. We know staff are concerned about parking. We are very happy to report that with a new temporary parking lot we have acquired across Terry Street, we have actually increased the amount of parking spaces available for employees relative to the amount of employees that we will have in the building. Moreover, we will have two dedicated parking spaces only for employees, whereas before we started demolition in this project, we had to share our employee parking with clients. We know that privacy is important to our employees. The new building provides spaces on each floor for employees to take private phone calls, take breaks, or just have some heads down work areas. Right next to the break room on the south side of the building, we will have a pocket park so employees can also go outside during nice weather and take a break out there. On the second floor, we also have opportunities for our employees to take breaks and have some heads down work. We also have a great break room on the south side of the building, which we are liking to the Starbucks model, where we want it to be casual seating where people can use um, Wi-Fi to connect to uh, the internet with their laptops. The third floor will be the quietest floor of all, and it will also have areas for employees to be able to have some heads down work or take breaks. But additionally, we have a workout room on the north side of the building 
where people will be able to use day lockers to lock up their workout gear and then work out. We have showers located just next to this workout room. On this fly-through, we're coming in from the Kaufman Street entrance. We're walking in onto the first floor and looking to the right. We are looking towards the classrooms. We can see our grand staircase that goes up to the second floor. We'll now be looking up into the atrium space, which allows a lot of natural daylight coming down through the middle of the space. You're seeing a cantilevered face-to-face -face room coming over the navigation station where all of our clients will be able to come in and ask for directions. We're walking slightly backwards towards the Terry Street entrance, and then we're going to be walking around and going up this grand staircase from the first floor up to the second floor and walking towards the public health front desk. You can see the railing of this staircase is made of wood. The designers really wanted the space to be welcoming and inviting and bright and fun, and wood was a material that we all agreed upon was a welcoming material. Now you're seeing the public health front desk on the left. We're going to be looking over the balcony in the atrium space, looking across to the face-to-face -face rooms across the atrium. Each of these face-to-face -face rooms will have room wizards on it, so uh, employees can easily reserve these rooms either online or on the fly by walking up to them. The windows are actually going to be larger than what's shown in this fly-through. And now we'll be walking and seeing into the atrium space again. It's going to be a great space. <clears throat> One of my favorite features to the project is the small pocket park that we were able to incorporate into the project. This will be on the south side of the building. And this, to me, is a little sanctuary, I think, for employees who've had a, a stressful day, and they'll be able to go outside and sit underneath the tree and just chill out for a while before going back to work. <clears throat> Two of the most important features of this building from a sustainability standpoint is the mechanical system and the natural daylight that's coming into the space. The mechanical system is designed so that we can take 100% outside air into the building at any time. A typical um, 50s design mechanical system only allows for 30%. So we're talking a, a great increase of natural fresh air. Um, for natural daylight, uh, we will have these two atrium spaces that have light coming in from the roof. We unfortunately had to demolish the church across the street for our, our project. But in the course of doing this, we were able to salvage a lot of materials from the church, and we're trying to incorporate those as much as we can in this project. Some of the features from the church that we have salvaged is the wood from the, the large beams in the nave, as well as some of the stone from the outside of the building. We have also saved all of the panels of stained glass, and we really want to recreate one of these stained glass pieces and use it as a piece of art in the building. In conclusion, we're very excited about this project. Not only are we showcasing a, the highest level of sustainability in this building that the county has ever done before, but also we are showcasing the county's mission statement, which is the best in public service. And we believe that with this new building, we will be able to provide much better services for our clients and staff.